My name is Julie Boyd and this tutorial shows you how to create an e-textile circuit using a popper as a switch. So here's my circuit and I've got my popper that's inserted into the positive side of my circuit. When I close the popper, the LED comes on, you can see it flashing there. When I open the popper, the circuit is broken and the LED switches off. To create the circuit, I've oversewn the negative leg of my LED into position and just done some running stitches um, to come down to my cell holder that's over here and I'm just going to um, finish my running stitches to get to my cell holder and just do some over sewing stitches to hold my cell holder into position. So this would be the negative side of my circuit then complete. I'm now working on the positive side of my circuit and I've over sewn my positive leg into position. Normally um, I would be coming round up to my positive side on my cell holder. What I'm going to do here is to insert a switch using an ordinary popper, so a press stud, snap fastener, different names for this item. Um, so I'm going to bring my stitches up and just over sew um, this side of my popper into position. My popper is now sewn into position. We can see that we've got um, conductive thread on one of the holes, but I've sewn the other holes with just ordinary sewing thread. I could sew those with conductive thread if I wanted to, um, but if, for example, you haven't got much thread left, um, just sewing one hole is absolutely fine. So here's my completed circuit um, with the, um, the popper um, stitched down around three holes with ordinary thread and the final hole um, stitched with uh, conductive thread, which then goes over to the cell holder. Um, which is stitched into position. My last step is to insert my cell into the holder. So this is our positive side with the switch that breaks the circuit. When we close the switch the circuit is rejoined and the LED um, will work. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive new tutorials as they are uploaded. Visit the website julieboyd.co.uk for all things D&T, especially textiles, and that includes free resources, a weekly D&T newsletter and course information.